Once more, the Haunted Earth team returned to the ancient church on the edge of the Essex marshes, but this time in company with our American friend, Mary Freer. No sooner than arriving, the atmosphere felt very unpleasant and menacing. So having decided to split into two groups, Mary joined me as I very quickly sensed activity building up inside. Okay, as I'm sat here looking up towards the rafters on the wall, there's a mess of red energy flashing like Christmas tree lights. Yeah. It's very, very strong. They're up there watching us from the top rafters of the church looking down. This energy is starting to lower itself. So what we're going to do, mm. sit here and just keep an eye on this area of the church. Okay. I've seen a, a grey shadow move across there. I, I got something, I think, right in front of me. It's... It's... You can't see The church is well documented for shadow form energies and this following clip taken some months previously is no exception. I've just heard a vibration noise at the back here. Yeah, there's, there's an energy down your side of the wall. It just went down. It sounds like something in the wall, like, you know, like vibrated the wall at the back. Yeah. And I thought I saw with my naked eye something go past the altar, something white. But I was yeah. pointing down towards you with the camera. I wanted to follow that. Yeah. But Dee said she thought she saw something early, didn't you? Mm. Yeah, something walked up to the altar. Definitely, there is definitely something up here because I'm getting pressure on my head. We come in love, light and peace. We mean no harm or offence. We come to make friendly and peaceful contact. I can feel your presence here. We haven't come here to cause harm or offence. There's a light in the corner up there, there's an energy. They're hovering over the, this side of the building at the moment. To your left or right? Um, to my left, ahead of me. Okay, I'm going to stand up here. But it's got very cold when I'm sat here. It feels very uncomfortable. It's not feeling good here tonight. Something just passed in front of me. You see, they can only feed off fear. The bad ones. Those that tread the true path. Please stand in protection of us whilst we are here tonight. There was um, a light on the altar shore to your left, a flash of energy. It's now dropped below the altar. I just think I caught up on here. It just disappeared. Hold just on. keep the camera nice and steady. There is somebody in here who's been restrained. He comes on the dark side. He wants to call harm, physical harm. 
he wants to, I'm picking up images of somebody beating somebody very violently and this energy is what wants to inflict itself upon us and he is being restrained to a point by the protective spirit of this church there is a lot of good in this church and there's a constant battle at night between good and evil Generally, this church feels warm at night, but it's been getting very gradually colder since we've been in here. Since we've been here, I've seen a lot of energy flashing around, particularly up against the walls and rafters, and of course, no doubt behind us too, because to my left, it's felt very, very cold. And this coldness is encroaching itself throughout this building, which I can feel is a spiritual presence but there is a good energy here too who is fighting against this. And there are others that stand in the shadows, that stand in fear. We haven't come here to provoke any situation. We just come here to make peaceful contact. But it doesn't feel very pleasant. Just have wander over here and talk to Sean. And, yeah. What are you guys feeling at the moment? Do you know? Well, I thought I was going to pass out. When uh, we first moved in, it was like this wave of energy hit me. And the more I walked up, the stronger it got. It's very stifling on the very, chest. Yeah breathless and I, I just felt like I was going to go over. I've never felt like that. It seems to have calmed down a little bit but it's got very cold. Yeah, it's very, very cold and there is a lot of energy around here. This character I think I picked up before some time ago, a man called Paul, he's still here. You had him falling from... Yeah, I'm rafters. sure he died in this building when this was a hay barn. He fell from the, what would be the rafters. I can see this energy. And I can still feel this anger, this, uh, this desire to beat the crap out of us. That's what I feel. I'm a bit concerned about the girls because I've noticed on previous investigations that the activity tends to increase with female presence. I just saw a string up there. That was odd. I just saw this like a string or thing go there's straight energy, into the wall. There's an energy floating around here at the moment. I can't get focused on the camera. Yeah, the camera's having problems keying in. And, see and the energy's there. actually low now. It's by the, where we put our equipment when we come in. Over here. I'm just going to get it. There. And it's by the door. But it's very cold. This, what we're feeling in here actually is a complete energy of negativity that is being held back. But it's enveloped this entire church. But there is a good spirit here, a very strong spirit. the guardian of this church and he is alone there are others here they are weak in spirit and they are fearful of this man Paul there's a lot of energy with building up over that um, front window over the arch of it 
and going down the side of the wall. It's just moving around. It's just moving around. It's like a it's like a beast, like a lion, prowling around its prey. I just heard something on my right. Are you okay, Mary? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm not picking up any one individual other than him. He that stands on the right side. I've just got my senses opened to what's going on around here. Trying to be attuned to, to what I'm actually feeling. There is this uh, anger still, an opportune moment, perhaps, for him. That's what he's looking for. There is so many. There are so many in spirit in this building, just swarming around. Skies full. Energy. I just saw a flash of light in the corner. Yeah, it's everywhere. It's all That's around it. us tonight. For those that come in love, light, and peace, who mean no harm, animosity, could you give us a sign of your presence here, please? For those that walk in the shadows, please stay in the shadows. I can hear, I can hear voices, I can hear voices like a like moving like an energy but as one all these voices overlapping each other and it feels like the wind but there is no wind that's funny you should say that because about a minute ago i thought i heard rustling along next to me yeah which sounds like leaves blowing yeah and when you mentioned wind <coughs> It's voices. The sound of the wind made up of voices. This is bizarre. They can't stand in the light of the moon. They stand in the shadowed areas. You don't see them at the bottom. You don't see where there's light coming through the window, but you see them in the shadows. Because the light of the moon reflects the light from the sun. A 
okay, I could stand here and I could say all kinds of offensive things to provoke a reaction. I really, I really don't want to do that in this church. Out of respect for the guardian. It's almost like a battle of war and peace that it takes place here every night. The control of the church. I've just seen a uh, yeah, he's flashed over there. He's there, he's there, he's there. He's behind us. I can feel something. Sure. I feel something behind me. There is energy, larger patches of grey energy flashes. It's moving around very quickly over the back. There's something behind me. Like an angry frustration. Someone is turn around. Turn around? Yeah. It's right there. Stop where you are at. can feel, if you want, for want of a better word, the love of God, the energy of uncompromising peace, serenity, and balance. And yet, on the other side, I feel this unstable, dark energy. We see it, we see it all the time. He creeps in with the shadows and he goes out with the shadows. It's very difficult to convey to you what we are actually feeling here because the tension of this building is its almost suffocating. And for you to be sat watching this on the screen is not to appreciate the sheer horror that we can feel here. And anger, resentment and bitterness this can't be conveyed through a screen, but we can feel that here as we stand here in this church. Does this place, as a visitor, Mary, is, it, is this place giving you the creeps? Mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty occupied. It's very occupied. There's a lot of people here, isn't there? Yeah, there's like a crowd of people. Deanne? I keep having William put into my head. You keep having William put into your head? William. William. Oh. oh, the energy just flashed over the altar again. I don't know why, but... There's two people there. Sorry, Dan. Okay. Sorry, Dan. Um, just, please continue. I just, I just said that I keep having William, the name William, shouted at me. I don't know if that's someone in here, but... And get out. Oh yeah, we're not wanted here by no, a certain well, we individual. Never are, but I, I just... I just had that as well. Very uneasy up here, actually. Yeah, it's, it's a very uncomfortable place to be in at night. And the cold just goes straight through you. Mm -hmm.
this is when I saw two flashes. Should we go no, over there? Yes, I can see them. I can't see them. Two figures in shadow standing here. Yeah, I said earlier there was someone behind me. Yeah. Um, I think I just saw some go on the ground. Any friendly spirits of this church, those that come in love, light, and peace, those that walk the true path of God, could you give us a sign, please, of your presence? Every time I say that, I, I feel this voice and it's like he's saying, this is one of the words I'm continuing hearing. Fuck you. It might be the same person that shouted fuck before. Mm. He's fearful of God. Now he's feeling, the feeling I have, the, the words I can feel in my mind is that he is not. But he is. In the past, in many centuries past, people huddled inside this barn for warmth. And some of those people died here. These were people that were landless. They had no home. They had no jobs. They were the lowest elements of society. Sorry, Chris, but I've got it all. Yeah. This is what I'm feeling now. And this is where they lived and this is where they died. And some were brutally murdered. These were the dispossessed. These were the poor that lost their families. They lost everything. And these are the ones, I feel, who harbour a very strong bitterness. This church has love, but this love is being suppressed, particularly at night. And this is why these people come from the shadows. And the man who is... The man, the energy with the most bitterness is this man called Paul. And the others stand in fear of him. Like a, an evil aura. Yeah. It's because they are. I'm. I am empathic to their feelings, and those feelings are conveyed through. And this is the anger and the resentment. And their frustration is is that they can't express that. And the guardian of his church, I'm sure, has tried to guide them into the light, but they won't go. Yeah, they're because they have a fear of God. That was Mary's jacket. And you know, as I've expressed that, I feel... Listen, let me explain this. As I express that, I feel that the pressure and the tension is eased a little bit. I really do. It doesn't feel as tense as it was previously. This is their untold story of all the terrible things that we could never imagine which happened in this building. It's a horrible thing. 
of God. Oh, we need to go outside. We'll have a break. You okay? Yeah, I just need to go outside. We then went outside to reflect and for me to recover my senses and composure before returning some minutes later to recommence with Mary, who was wanting to meditate near to the altar where she earlier felt considerable energy. Listen. Someone coming. Yeah. It feels less menacing, it's still there, but it yeah. I'm just wondering if, um, like, I just uh, hear like a mixture of foreign languages. And what um, what languages are you hearing? It's like the old Aramaic prayers in bits and pieces. It's very choppy. Mm -hmm. And I hear some English. It. It's like it's layers of populated people, or can I say generations? Yeah. It's generations of people, but they're like, they're layered, they're coming through. So I'm wondering the language was mixed. It's churches from architecturally designed from Syria? Well, the design of the church was based on churches built in Syria mm -hmm. in the early period of a crossover between the Roman period and early Christianity. So that's the Orthodox? I believe this church was built in 632 AD. Yeah. I can, I can feel like the players. There's definitely bilingual languages going on here. Well, you could be picking up, um, for example, this is just after the Roman period, and people would have been speaking, there would have been people of different nationalities here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's it's like a mixture. As disciples spreading the word of God. I just heard. Because although Rome had fallen, the network that they had created of communication and contact would have been used by the early Christians. Jesus. Jesus was Jesus. Mm. Jesus. After Mary had finished, we had all felt quite drained emotionally by the experience, and so after packing away our equipment, we made the long trek back to the car park along a 2,000-year-old Roman trackway where, back in the car, we recorded our thoughts and feelings to camera. Tonight, down at the church, it's been pretty interesting, hasn't it? What did you actually experience there? Well, tonight, when we actually got first got into the church, there was a really strong presence. And uh, we all moved in, and it seemed to move to the back of the church where the altar was. And me and Dee walked up the back, and it was really strong there. And then afterwards, um, I was moving around with the camera, and um, it seemed like the actual energy was moving around the church uh -huh. mm -hmm. in a circle. And I heard a few things, heard some rustling. I had, I actually heard like vibrating on the wall. 
I've just heard a vibration noise at the back here. Yeah, there's, there's an energy down the side of the wall. It sounds like something in the wall, like, you know, like vibrated the wall at the back. And then uh, we took a break, come outside. I thought I saw something outside. I'm not sure if I did. Went back in and then um, Dee took the camera, so I was on, on my own like that. And uh, I actually thought I saw a shadow. I focused in on a shadow near the door and then it moved, which sort of freaked me out a bit. And then I heard knocking on the door and we also heard humming. And uh, then right near the end, um, before we was actually leaving, um, I felt as if this, the presence was getting stronger again and they actually wanted us to leave because I think they knew that we were going to leave but it was if they wanted us to say, like, you know, hurry up, shoot on over. Did you feel like there was a distinct change after I spoke about yeah, this? Yeah, 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 it's, it lifted. Yeah, it's, it's almost like they were yeah. really trying to express how they felt, you know? Yeah, and, and near the end, I, f I felt... I don't know, I felt a bit funny. I I didn't feel depressed, but I just felt as if I, you know, I just didn't want to be there and I felt a bit sad, really. I don't but, know why. But overall, it was a good investigation, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a good one tonight, yeah. Was there anything else that you could, that you wanted to sort of add to the experience? Well, I mean, as, for, as soon as I walked in, I just, um, I walked straight to the altar and... I was quite overcome with the energy in a, in a way because I felt almost faint. It was very, very strong. As soon as we walked in, it was like a rush of energy towards... I don't know if it's particularly towards me or everyone felt the same. Um, but I had to sit down for a minute or so. Also, I sat there and had the name William shouted at me. I don't know who William was, but I know not long afterwards you saw two people behind me. Um, and uh, I'd also said that I'd felt someone behind me as well, so probably the same two people. Um, there wasn't a lot of all activity on camera. It may, we may be able to see more of that when we review it, but um, overall, I felt more. I felt an awful lot tonight. The energy was very strong. Very definitely. powerful, wasn't it? Very powerful. Mm. Probably the most powerful I've ever felt in there. But I never felt. Um, usually when we come out and have a break and we go back in and I usually have this feeling that we're not wanted and I didn't get that today I didn't no I, I think that um, I didn't get that they wanted once they expressed themselves it was probably a kind of relief on their part mm. I think that something had been said yeah mm. definitely I felt that um, I could feel definitely feel a lot of different energies in there. I mean, it was it was like it was like one extreme to the other. I just felt like it was like a hurricane of emotions, just like twisting and turning and um, just like spiraling everywhere. And I guess that's why we felt the you know the um, tension when we first walked in, and then it was just waves of calm you know and then it was just no other waves of agitation um so it, i guess that's where you guys were feeling like segments of um calm and then angry and then calm it, it was it was just really different it's like an angry and you, ocean you also felt when you sat down you you, you were talking about um because of the, the the history of the design of the church is that of one from Syria mm -hmm. and we're talking about the very early days of Christianity what you said you felt as though there were different languages being spoken I did um, I heard Yesu and um, I just know by that's like Jesus and uh, Arabic and then you just had told me that it was a Syrian designed church so there's ties to um, to that uh, country, of course. And the era, of course, yeah. as well. Yeah, so um, Syrian Orthodox. Um, after you gave me the information, I could really kind of relate. And um, 
like once I started focusing my mind on that uh, Syrian Orthodox and kind of meditating into that kind of state, then I felt like that I could connect better with the people there um, in that generation time way back when it was first originated, the church. On a level um, of 1 to 10, how would you rate it? 10 being the scariest? I would say it's a good 7. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a good strong. 7. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's 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 um I don't think just anybody can go down there. No. It's, it takes <laughs> well you could feel that when you first walked in there that strong energy and and it was it was yeah. abundantly clear that yeah. we weren't welcome when we arrived there. Right. In the first when I first laid eyes on the silhouette of the church um I could just feel the sensation immediately. It was like... Like a monster sat there you, waiting You don't want to go down there, yeah. you know? Yeah. Mm. It's like someone was like, you, you sure you want to go down there? Well, thank you very much for joining us tonight. It's been a Thanks real pleasure to have me. you aboard and the first American to actually work with Haunted Earth. So. Wow. Yay. I'm honoured. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, tonight it's been a really interesting investigation. I mean, from my point of view... Uh, the, the, the same negativity that we always feel it was there when we went in there, the feeling that we weren't welcome. Um, I, like many others of the group, heard voices. Um, later on, I, I heard humming. I thought it was a female voice, and I thought she was humming. Um, I could certainly hear whispering when I first went in there, but I felt, this was the weirdest thing, I felt uh, a multitude of voices, and those voices were almost... Uh, concordant like a, like a musical chorus mm. but in the sound of a wind like a breeze as it went through the church and it kind of resonated and I also saw a massive energy all around me and of course all of us here have had similar experiences of that tonight but uh, mostly uh, a mass of tiny red dots of energy and, and it was swirling around the church and this is where I could feel all these voices as one but the interesting thing was was later when I felt if you like they were expressing their uh, grievances and it was obvious to me that from the moment we went in there the frustration and negativity which is generated through this one person who I previously identified as somebody who died there by the name of Paul was this frustration and anger and and how they felt um, she would say apathetic towards the notion of God because they felt they had been abandoned and because they felt they were victims of abuse so for me it was quite a, a spiritually moving period but Despite all of this which took place tonight, um, after this, she would say, this opening up period, this, this spiritual entity who, as I said, I identified as a man called Paul, he did not have their support to draw that negativity through. And once they had expressed themselves, I felt the whole atmosphere change inside that building. And an unusual change which I've never felt before. So I'm hoping that perhaps now things may quieten down. And I've read from witness accounts that people that have been in the church late at night have felt this evil, this sense of uh, nastiness that prevails in there. And that kind of ties in with what we were experiencing. And so I'm hoping, as a result of this investigation tonight, we have captured some very interesting material and hopefully we've shared that material with you and it's been able to answer certain unanswered questions that have been on my mind for quite some considerable time. So thank you very much for joining us and from us all tonight, good night. Good, good night. night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. <laughs>